Before we get to your scheduled video, please remember that likes and comments tell YouTube to promote our work to other people, and subscribing to the channel tells you when something new drops. You can also head to the link tree in the description to peruse my books, join us on Discord, or support us on Patreon. You can get episodes of Journey of Wrestling and Violent Profiles early, as well as a load of other treats. Even just a dollar a month earns you a name drop for being cool. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the show. Greetings and salutations, fellow Animal Crossing villagers. It is I, Eric J. Chucky, joined as always by the boy. <laughs> Uh, I, I am triggered because they're actually speaking the letters individually, not just making random noises, but I appreciate that that's why you did that. <laughs> this is the Two Nerds Podcast, and we are still talking about old D&D art through the ages, as inspired by a Reddit poster who is now anonymous because Reddit is on fire at time of recording. Mm. It was a tie between that and going, H-E-8, because that's also misspelled. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, um, yeah, we're talking about all this, but before we talk about all this, we're going to talk about who's cool. Okay, uh, Patching Killer 7-Eleven. I like that one. What else you got for me? Guy from Ohio. That's pretty good. I want to add to this, this block. Okay. Rob. Fine addition. Okay, thank you. We do fun little bits about this every time, and you could be a part of the fun little bit for a dollar. Just a dollar. Just a dollar. Was it? What was the last time you spent a dollar on something? It would be really nice for us, too, because then we could recycle a bunch of old bits with a new person. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're looking at old D&D art inspired by these posts, uh, mostly are focused around classes. We'll get into races and some miscellaneous crap later. Uh, this is the Paladin. Apparently. This is OP's supplied art. I went through and got my own for most of it, but some of them I didn't have entries for. Uh, There's a, This is... I... This is very bird focused. It's got awful. He, he killed a bird. I think it might be a bug. The, the larger art is a little more clear that these were wings, like insect wings. He's wearing a bird. He is a. He's one of those people from that anime. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, how wildly the, unhelpful, but I know exactly what you mean. The Tatsunoko one. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not going to Google this. Rejected KFC mascot. Yeah. Like, I, and I see he's got the big cross there. Also, his limbs are made of butter and really long, and they are presently melting. I, I hate this art a lot. Uh, moving on. This is apparently second edition paladin art. Um, he looks like a paladin, you know, but not like your standard one. Yeah, he's got, he's got a spear, and that's pretty non-standard to start it's off a, It's with. a lance. Oh, that is a lance. Yeah. I like his rose queer ass. Yeah, that's very, that's like... I like that a lot. Very well, like, again, like, I like it because it's, it's embossed in a way that people would do. That's, that's mm -hmm. very cool. Mm -hmm. But we got a little bit of a fantasy. We got the nine pauldrons all layered on top of each other. You hide uh, communion wafers in those. Uh, I so see. That you yeah, can it's it's, it's segmented people. for yeah. extra, like, range of motion. And then he's Thor for some reason. Yeah, he's got the he's got the little Thor head wings, and he's got a, a helmet that he has currently the visor up. Yes. Uh, Bitch and mustache. Yeah. Overall, I'm a fan of this. Yeah, this, this works. This works. You think this is like uh, D and D Colt Regan? Maybe. Sure. Sure. Yeah. You should buy the Colt Regan books. They're pretty good. Link in the description. Uh, third edition Paladin art god awful, but her eye uh, shadow looks amazing. I've never liked that the third edition paladin art is in leather armor. I like a leather armor paladin as a concept, but it's not like, the default. Yeah, that's like putting a wizard image on your wizard page, and the guy's in full plate. Like that's not how that. Technically, yeah, that's possible, but like, don't. What, what are you doing? Yeah, that's not the. That's not the. Um... That's not even the first alternate fantasy of a paladin. Yeah, you're not selling me on. Pa that's ranger. That's a ranger. Yeah. That's a fancy ranger. Uh, with like a, with like a, uh, she's not even wearing scale mail. She's wearing like a flap of scale mail. Everything else is leather, and I, these pants are just breeches. That's just the pants. Yeah, I don't. I've never liked this art. Yeah, I, I love the hair, and I love the eyeshadow game. If we could have put plate mail on but below that, I just happened to notice her. Uh, I believe racist tattoo. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Wow. All wow. Right. You know All right. What? Maybe he's like for the Thunderlord or something. Sure, maybe. Uh, I like this guy a bunch. He doesn't necessarily read Paladin to me, but I want to be whoever this is. 
Yeah, he's got more substantive armor, what we can see of it. Again, I mentioned this in the last podcast, a lot of the 4th edition art is bad solely because it's too tight. It's too tight in on the character, so you can't tell what the fuck is happening. But you get some you get some vibes from this. I like his lightsaber. Um, yeah. His Kadikus lightsaber. That's good. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't remember if this was the Player's Handbook 1 or 2, I'll be honest with you. But... Uh... I'm I'm really happy with this vibe. I'm I'm solid, and it's I, I like the decision to make a paladin with blue light as opposed to gold, which is the tradition for holy magic. Uh, this guy is fine. I, they made the conscious decision to go with like an evil paladin because you can just do that now in fifth edition. So they made because like, this is like clearly a paladin of like tyranny. Yeah, he's kind of given that vibe, the 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 glove here. I don't know whose symbol he, he it is. He works for Salruman. I mean, sure. let's be real. Um, I, I don't like his haircut at all. It looks very military, and that doesn't immediately read Paladin to me. That's more fighter. And the longer I look at his limbs, it looks like he's, at best, trying to take a shit. <laughs> he's, he's, he, it is a little weird that he's, like, cringing from something. Yeah, he's cut and squat and his arms look way too long yeah, oh yeah if he straightened that out that'd be at, like his ankle wouldn't it yeah the proportions the or is perspective he squatting? is weird that's what i'm saying is maybe he's but this one this knee pad looks his metal really cowboy bizarre. boots bother me actually and this toe is turned really funky mary jane would like to know your location because you have contorted your spine in ways that she has not mastered I, I the, you know, from back here, yeah, fine. No, cool, yeah, the more you zoomed in on that, Mm-mm. the less I liked it. Mm-mm. I like his gear. I think that's cool. I think that showcases what a paladin is. Uh, I think making an orc paladin, a half orc. That's I love. Cool. I love orc half orc paladin. That's a great idea. Uh, I don't think they executed on it well. I, if you're gonna do that, don't also make him an asshole paladin. That was kind of yeah. That doesn't. <laughs> that's not helpful with what you're trying to do. Uh, we move into Ranger now. This is a absolutely bit crushed, uh, but visually speaking. Uh, and that guy looks like a Ranger. I, no notes. Yeah, I have the four pixels to go on, and I like all four. Yeah, his name is Scotty. Uh, he knows a druid who sells weed. Yeah. Um, uh, he's, he's, he's just trying to live off the land, man, you yeah, know? Yeah. Get out of society. It's, it's, I like how he's holding his belt. I'd hang out with this dude. Yeah, like this guy's him. fine. Like this guy's lot. fun. Uh, second edition Ranger, I remember this art. Uh, he is, he's not, he's got troubles. Yeah, he's looking up at whatever made that footprint, yeah. and he's going, oh, man. oh damn. <laughs> I thought I was tracking. I was being tracked. Shit. Clever girl. Yeah, that is, that man is currently clever girling. Uh, I like him a lot, too. And again, this was supplied by OP. Um... Because he reads Ranger without being, like... Aragorn. Yeah, yeah. He's got the cloak, he's got this thing, which was very important for Rangers to wear. His, his, uh... The Christmas, crenellation poncho. His, his Christmas tree skirt. Yeah. He's wearing... He reads, he reads Santa a little, I won't lie. Santa's a Ranger. It's, we know that. Uh, this hey, is look, it's another one. paladin. Yeah. I also hate this art. This, it's, I don't hate it as much as, like, uh, the Paladin art. But again, one sleeve. I don't know why we were doing that. I don't know why that was a thing. Um, I remember it being really hot back in the day, though, because now that you've mentioned it a couple of times and in the previous podcast, uh, I had a lot of friends who complained about that, and they were like, they wouldn't, they wouldn't do that. And it was a really hot-button issue, so it must have been happening, like, everywhere. I don't, I don't know why one sleeve. Look, one pauldron? Yeah, that, that makes absolute sense. Mm-hmm. One sleeve? Less so. Um, I don't mind my right arm getting chopped off. Well, it's, it's, look, I just my right arm hot, runs hot, my left arm runs cool. It's about keeping its balance. Um, but I... This is like five suits of leather armor that he has clearly stitched together. There's so many small things that upset me about this image. I will give you one small thing I like about this image. Uh, His little tree hand covers, the little leaves, those are pretty nice. Everything else, I hate the way the studs are set. I hate how they look like pimples. 
Um, I hate his toeless boots so that the ranger running around in the woods can, you know, stab his toes on trees. Every and rock and every tree. Every rock he runs across. That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever covered, seen. Covered head to toe in thick, boiled, I don't know, insect chitin, except for one arm and his toes. And he's bunched his cape up all in his armpit here for whatever reason. It looks, uh, this is how you, this is how, what you uncover when you're trying to maintain temperature equilibrium when you go to sleep. I just, I just need one sleet, one arm, and the toes out of the blanket. Yeah, uh, he's also uh, got his arms like as straight as possible to show you his cool weapons. This which arm is, is coming real far out. Which is so weird. It's such a weird way to hold a sword. And I hate his um, giant um, Q-tips. Yeah, his Q-tip arrows. Yeah, that was the <laughs> next thing I was going to talk about. Because <laughs> those aren't going to fly. Those, look, are they supposed to be torches? Cause no, I don't think so. I think that's... That's a Q-tip. Because he's got a bow. That's a Q-tip. That is not an arrow. That is a Q-tip. Is that the, the, There are instructions on the box on his quiver to not stick those in your ear. <laughs> I, I feel like at least he is as upset to be wearing all this nonsense as we are to be looking at. I hate his hat, too. Uh, and that's that. Uh, this is the 4th edition Ranger. Looks awesome. Very this MMO, is, though. This is one of the 4th edition arts that that is real good. Yeah. Uh, you're absolutely right, but all the 4th edition art is kind of MMO. So sure. I don't, that, I don't dock leaning. too many points. I love her completely fucking nonsensical branch swords. That, yeah. The, 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 those that don't are emitting have, light. Those, are, those don't have blades. No. That is two weird branches that emit lightsabers. Yeah. But she does have normal scabbards for them. Maybe the little... This part goes into the scabbard. It's just a little branchy bit. Yeah. <laughs> just so you don't catch it on anything because it's got all the wibbles i kind of hate where her her scabbards are no no because this is her leg they're all on one leg yeah well no this one's <laughs> no well, what the fuck? that one's attached to yeah, that same because this is her other leg yeah they're on the same leg that's her one... business leg <laughs> <laughs> one is a dick scabbard one is like fully crotch centered and pointing out when and she's standing i also i appreciate the side boob but i question that as a defensive thing uh, like it, it, it's look i kind of be honest i didn't even realize it was side boob. it just kind of looks like cleavage but uh, like but only one well because she's got the strap like arn like, anderson <laughs> no like uh, what my brain you're absolutely right that's what that is but my brain has was reading that as like cleavage and she has like a like a like a bag over her shoulder. Oh, I see, yeah. And the strap going going down, but and the no, arm was just... No, that's clearly side boob, the, and she's just way more pointing away from camera than I thought she was. The only other thing it could be is, like, her place where her arm and her shoulder connect. But she would have to be absolutely fucking shredded for that to be the case. Like, she's she's yoked up. She got, she got a juicy rip going. And lacking in torso. She, she, like, loves arm day, misses all other days. Uh, I like her expression as well, which is, uh. Well, yeah, she was clearly looking way the fuck over there, and yeah. something startled her. But, like, not that much. She'll handle it. Uh, fifth edition Ranger, I, I don't hate it. Yeah, this is... She knows that guy from Druid in the last episode. Yeah. <laughs> that guy was hanging out with the Druid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she's... I like it because it's very colorful. I like that it's not just a bunch of drab browns and greens. Yeah, that's nice. I like the blue. That really reflects of like some culture. She's got a lot of weapons, which uh -huh. is good. I like that in a fighter. A ranger is also good for that. You get a lot of like uh, master of several different forms of combat. Um, I don't like the shoes. No, it's very a choice. Slippery. Yeah, I don't mean like hard to grasp. But at least she has doesn't a slip have her socks out. You know what? That's fair. She is wearing shoes, and I didn't think the bar was that low. But you're right, it is. I, I think I think they are nice tall boots, and this is like a an over thing. Like kick pads. Yeah, like kick pads. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, and this is either her animal companion or that druid that both of those people know. Uh, well, yeah, that's he's, he's passing a message between them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, it's just the color palette doesn't vibe with me. I, I don't, I like the choice of blue, that's not what I have a problem with, but it's, all of this together the, is a little... The, like the amber gold? It, it looks a little sickly. Yeah, I, I can't really explain it I, anymore You know what, honestly, that. I could see that. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
Um, we're at uh, Sorcerer now. Uh, again, this is OP's art choice. Uh, this is a character uh, who I should have written his name down, but I didn't. Because Sorcerer wasn't a thing in first edition, but this particular guy was an asshole. Yeah, and he was retconned to be a sorcerer, so they're counting him. Hmm. Uh, here he is riding through the street on his horse, who I believe is named Tony. Uh, and he's shooting fire at random citizens because he thinks it's funny. Um, I, I see nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's, it, look, it's, he's an asshole. He's doing asshole things. Yeah. Uh, here's another picture of him. Same guy, yeah. Same and guy. Tony. Tony, I love that Tony loves this as much as he does. Yeah, Tony's also super into this. Uh, and that guy's like, oh shit, it's that guy who shoots fire at us sometimes. And that guy's like, I've been shot fire at. And this guy's like, you'll get the sword. And he's like, you'll get the fire. Yeah, that's... Again, A+. Plus. Yeah. And they're visiting the Gren Griffin. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that is two R's. Oh, Lord. Uh, anyway, third edition Sorcerer. Um, you know, I appreciate the obvious Nomura-esque criticism that this guy is wearing 73 belts. <laughs> he is wearing the one sleeve of belts. But he looks fucking killer. He so has I don't one pa he has one big poofy pirate pantaloon, and he has taken belts starting at his midriff, actually his diaphragm, and then all the way down to the ankle. He has just belted up. <laughs> um, what the fuck? His, this arm is a little weird now that I'm like it looks like it's, it's been foreshortened really far back. It's like he's too small. About to yeet that it's fireball. It's too small for how fucking Superman jacked his chest is. I also don't know why he needs a, a crossbow and a spear. Actually, all told, this dude is too jacked. He's wearing too much, like, leather. Uh, this is... This this dude is a warlock. This is a warlock. Sure. Uh, but he's cool. Uh, I am inspired to play whoever this guy is. Uh, Hannet. With his spear and, yeah. and crossbow. Definitely and two green, things that scream magic. Death magic there. Uh, this is the 4th edition Sorcerer. Um, it just looks like some sort of spellcaster. It's a guy in a robe, uh, and he just unleashed the, um, wind. He's just farted stars. Um, <laughs> I, I, the OP pointed this out, and I do like it. I've never noticed it before, but the, uh, um, golden ratio stuff in... The, oh, well, that does, that does look cool. nice. Yeah. All right, so like zoom in on that. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's a good like art of some of some like stars and galaxies and stuff. Zoom out. Oh, it's Kmart Doctor Strange. Yeah, that's yeah, that's Doctor Strang. Uh, just no. What a weird right next to my eye tattoo. <laughs> uh, he's so thin and gaunt, and he's got a wee little face with a goatee. I I don't. Again, too close. Too close. Back up, guys. Well, the funny thing is, he's too close, and this is taking up way too much of the... It's picture. honestly, he's not that close. It's the, yeah. That shit taking up half his art. Yeah. Um, and there's the 5th edition Sorcerer, which I, I I feel comfortable in saying is poop. Is bad. <laughs> that's a monk, not brother. Good. Yeah, that is, first of all, a monk. That is one of them fire monks. That's the, that's the terrible monk that does fire. It looks maybe like sand or squand. <laughs> no, it's fire. It's bad fire, but it's fire. I'm on squam. The more I look at this, that is some granular ass fire. Yeah, you, know, you know what? Now the bottom of it is. This is okay, I guess. The hand fire is fire, but exclusively. Big, Everything else the, is squam. The big, the big loop is squam. The squam. Some, the, some of the squam is on fire. <laughs> the squamdomancer, <laughs> squam monk. I, yeah, he's got the coming the, soon. He's got he's, he's got the prayer, he's got like the you know the Shinto prayer beads and yeah. he's, he's a monk. That's the Squand monk. And he's wearing those anime glasses from that one anime guy. You know, oh, he is literally like it's fire, but it does look like a Kamina glasses. Yeah. Believe in the me that believes in Squand. <laughs> well, that's ruined forever. Yeah, I, I've never liked this art, so you're welcome. Uh, this is Fucking the first edition. Yeah! <laughs> Look at his real long knife and arm. Uh, no shoes. <laughs> much, much smaller regular gig, loot and arm. Big knife and arm. 
I know that arm is foreshortened. Both of those arms are ridiculously long. That guy can't stop laughing <laughs> with a knife to his throat. He's being mugged. <laughs> he's looking at this goofy ass motherfucker like, yeah, take it, take it. Yeah, go buy a shirt, take you take weirdo. It, take, it, take, it, take the money, it's fine. Oh my god. Eight I love plus, him. 10 he's out of fucking, 10. Yeah, that is, is the exact, that is the exact vibe I want from Rogue. That's spectacular. That is a thief. Uh, this is some second edition art from the book that I sourced. Uh, this has a very... Um... This is in the climbing skill section, but this guy really looks very bardy. This guy looks really roguey. This, this honestly, this reads very tarot card to me. Uh, it also looks like a, a relief stamp, and I kind of like that too. Oh, it does. Yeah. That's cool. Just some really nice art. Um, that's what I sourced. This is what uh, the OP came up with, <laughs> which I remember from my youth. I love him. I love him so much. This fucking Guy Fox looking at his fucking... <laughs> the piano kicks up when he's sneaking. He, he kicks his knees all the way to his chin when walking down the street. <sighs> Look at this motherfucker. Look at this dick dastardly ass. I, I I I have no like I cannot imagine as a as a young person you know when I got into D and D ever wanting to play a rogue based on this art. Now I managed to still play all rogues. Again, I was raised by Final Fantasy, but uh, wow, do I never want to be this weird? I love him. I love him as an adult. I, I want to be him so much. As an adult, I want nothing more. Look at this motherfucker. I love how his tunic doesn't even fit over his gangly ass crotch. <laughs> Cause he got he got stealing to do, man. Can't be worrying about that. And look at how much him there is. I love. He's doing his best. Second edition Waluigi is amazing. He's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> even purple. <laughs> uh, now we bring you the majority of third edition art, uh, Lita the halfling. I like Lita's art actually. I like Lita's art too. I think she's a neat character. I think this is a great design for halflings. Uh, halflings, great. She's uh, fully like. A third of the art in the third edition player's handbook. Is is Lida? Is Lida. Yeah. That's because, you I mean, you nail a design this hard, you run with it. And this is what, this is when Thief became Rogue. Yeah. Um. So this is exactly what, that's why if you guys are following along alphabetically, that's why Rogue is here, a Thief. Uh, it's, it's when you set down this idea of the dungeon delver, the adventurer, over the cat bird, over, over this motherfucker. <laughs> God, I love him. I'm playing him. Just so we're clear, you will have to deal with that motherfucker at some point in I'm the future. I'm going to need you to respond to many sentences with nah. Nah. Uh, but yeah, Lita looks great. No real notes on this art. It's it's fine. Yeah, uh, Lita's a great character. I love this art. Uh, it's a great look for halflings to not be awful, horrible little demon monsters. Um, and this is a great example of leather ar leather armor covered in belts that looks good. <laughs> Yeah, I would agree with that, too. Um, moving on to 4th edition. This, I think, is pulled out just enough. You get some nice rigging in the background here. This is great art. Yeah, this is great. This is genuinely... If all of the 4th edition art had been at that distance, this would be this would be excellent art. Um, I think he reads a little bit more ranger than rogue just because of the heavy it's, greens. It's because of the greens. But... If that was just blacks, it would be perfect. Yeah, or purples or reds or... This. But he's got the visible thieves tools. He does. I like that. I love that. So many knives. So many knives. And some... Dagger, uh, dagger, dagger. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, He kind of looks like, like Lita went through some stuff and, you know, is now living his best life. Yeah. Um... And then there's the 5th edition. <laughs> Darkness, no parrots. That is the OP's joke. I've ste I'm stealing it because they nailed it in one. Holy shit. This is every 14-year-old boy's first character. This is... This is the edgelord. I'll have you know... My first D&D &D character... When I was 14 was a dumbass dwarf. And mine was a wizard, but you know what I mean. This this was like my third character. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, the, with like the little bloodstones oh, everywhere Jesus. they could have them. And the and the oh my I love this, but it that's be, I love it because it's awful. 
It's a fine drawing, though. Yeah, it's a great drawing of a cringe motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we move on to Warlock. Um, really already? I guess that is time. This was not... There was no Warlock in first edition. Uh, I saved this picture because I thought it was baller. Uh, OP used it because it's got the Warlock vibe. There's a little imp telling him what to do. I love his uh, get fucked <laughs> ranged weapons. <laughs> Suck it, losers! I have magic. This was next to the shield spell, so yeah, I, I dig him a lot. I look, I like that the signature looks like it says "do shit." <laughs> do shit indeed. Uh, it's great. No notes. No notes. Um, this is apparently second edition warlock art. I, that's just a... This looks like character art from, like, an RPG that was made in 2020 and meant to look like it was made in 1985. Yeah. Yeah. I like her. Um, I would buy herbs from her. For my... my whatever it's like, this lady does tarot readings and yeah, sells... Yeah, she'll, um, she'll sell me poultices. Clove. Sure. I, I, would, I would hang out in her shop. It would smell kind of funky. And I would ask to pet her homunculus. I, whatever that is. Uh, we have this terrible piece of shit. Fuck, what? Is, is this 4th edition? This is 3rd edition Warlock art. This is the art that is next to the Warlock in Player's Handbook 2. I've never, ne and I have looked at Player's Handbook 2 for 3rd edition fully hundreds of times. Fully this hundreds of times. the most forgettable art. I've never seen this. How could I, you remember I, this art? I would put, mm, he, I would put, I just noticed he's wearing Dumbledore robes. Yeah, he's got little stars in his robes. He's got he's got wonderful twee little fucking stars on his robes and he's this I he's got jaundice like that's not a different race that is that color that guy just doesn't get enough nutrients he's about to die I blue wizard is about to die terrible n n fail yeah it's it's got awful that's the most boring piece of shit I never want to play that character uh this is the hexblade artwork same book also awful. But at least has fucking Riz. Yeah, this is... This guy is... He's going places. This guy does shit. <laughs> he... If uh, we've had Doctor Strange knockoff art, this is Kaisela's knockoff art. Yes, this is... Uh, this guy it's has... It's weirdly portentous. It specifically looks like Mads Mikkelsen playing Kaisela's. He's, 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 I love this dude. He's... He looks like he belongs in the 2000s Dungeons and Dragons movie. Yeah. But I mean that as a compliment. Yeah. Uh, it looks kind of like Ron Spencer art, but I, I can't be sure about that. Um, now, this is what was supplied by OP, and I remember seeing this art, but I, I don't remember, remember where. seeing this. Yeah. I do not remember seeing fucking cringe Dumbledore. I remember this guy. Uh, this guy looks like a rock star. Yeah, this is great warlock. I, I, I don't. This is edgy in, like,. This is edgy, like a like a T-shirt of like a cool skeleton that says like uh, some fucking barely coherent shit on I it. I was born in August, and you know that means that I will fuck you up if you try to harm the ones who love me. But I am a loving father and a husband yes. and a son. Yes, yes, that is that. This... And yes, my daughters bought me this shirt. Yeah, that is that is that's the kind of edgy this is. Yeah. That is so. This is self-aware edgy. And I love his face. <laughs> I love his perfectly squared off goatee because that's so hard to do. Yeah. Uh, you have to put so much effort into squaring off a goatee that sharp. And his big fork. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be a mace. I don't care. But it's a dick it's, it's fork. It's a spork. Yeah. He's, he's here to eat. <laughs> and he's here to eat. Cast magic. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, fourth edition warlock. Um, Again, pull back, guys. Yeah. Too close. I don't have a lot of... I. This is very lovely garment. Dress? But, yeah, I, I don't Coat? think... I'm not getting warlock vibes from this necessarily. Droat? I don't, I don't know what that garment is. Uh, I don't really have anything else. She's I, got a stick yeah. of indeterminate length because it shoots directly off the screen because we are approximately five inches away from her tits. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is too close, guys. Back up. Back up. I can't Speaking see this. Speaking of tits, like this looks unfinished. Like, look how the texture is over here on her skin. Even in this less highlighted area. Even down here in the... Well, that looks pretty sketchy, actually. But this looks like you did this in Photoshop in about four seconds. That is someone who was... Base layer shading that was that, that was someone who was not brave enough to detail the tits. I, I guess. That that person shrunk from a challenge. You, you don't... Like, look at, look at the texture on the horns comparatively. Like, just... It's... 
It's the whole image, man. This this looks fake. They're just not meant to be scrutinized. They're guess, meant to be... You look I at guess. them for three seconds, you flip past them, you never look at them again. Uh, fifth edition Warlock is... Golden. Uh, this is great art. This is a cool character. I want to play this character. I want to curse love, a motherfucker. I love this fucking... What is going on with this stick, y'all? Is this a staff? Is it a club? It's yes. It's got some nails in it. She's gonna fuck you up. This is great. I love this. I love the smoke, uh, like trailing off her. The got like diaphanous sort of fabric smoke sort of vibe. I love the. I like this lizard that lives on her pants. Yeah, pants lizard is great. I like the orb. I don't know what that orb is. I think is. it's a big plate on a on a leather string. Sure, it could be any number of fucking emergency things. bone. Uh, you know, just in case. It's uh, great. Wearing slippers. Uh, wearing sandals. Sandals. With socks. With, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> like the rest of this is like I'm really cool. This bit is, and I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that this, is, that makes her more threatening. This guy wishes he was half as cool as this lady. Yeah. This is his mom. <laughs> yeah. And he hates that she's big way mom cooler energy than from yeah. this drawing generally. Yeah, this is just great art, incredible art. Good job. Uh, we're gonna, gonna have a brief visitation with the warlord, never seen before or again. Hey, warlord. Uh, I included it because it was included in the book, in the core book, as a core class. Uh, fourth edition, obviously. Great idea that just they never came back to. They sort of did with some subclasses in fifth edition, but, but nothing really yeah. purpose built. Uh, so wizard, I there's so much going on in this drawing, despite the fact that it looks. I, I don't know that I could draw this badly on purpose. <laughs> I just that being said, I love him. <laughs> I love this big mantis arm shooting lasers. I out. love that we're, our, we hadn't decided what we're cool casting positions yet. So arms, ma arms like in the in like the praying mantis position, hands completely flat, pointed straight down, and like out from the wrists as far down as they'll go. Just firing laser beams was considered. Yeah, that's as good as anything else. At whatever this is, fucked is what it is. <laughs> uh, I like the naked knife tucked into his belt. Uh, next like to a skull took, a first grader made for him. I like that he 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 took the time to set up his little like his little book stand before fucking up whatever that building used to be. <laughs> and I like his stupid friend that's checking out his spell book and wearing a sock on his head. Uh, or a boot, maybe. I don't know. This was next to the intelligence uh, stat. And I, I, I Great. Love it. Yeah. Well, clearly dumb and then smart sure. is what that is. Uh, or, but he's looking at a spell book, a spell pamphlet, really. There are three pages in this book. Do not cast, is what that says. That yeah. guy made it for him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is second edition wizard artwork supplied by OP. Uh, just absolutely aces. That's a wizard. That is, that is when you think of wizard, that is, that is the blue wizard. Yep, he's here. It's, he, from the east. I love him. Uh, this is the wizard artwork I picked. It was back in the spell section. Notice something interesting. Uh, you're gonna have to point it out. Okay, that's Miley. Oh, it is. We'll go back for those of you playing the home game. Oh, she had a real, she had a real glow down. Yeah, I don't like this armor. I don't, I don't like this armor at all. Uh, now, look. All right, go go back to Miley. Go back to the good Miley. I guess that's that's cool. I didn't know. Awesome. I've never noticed that. No, this I lady's either. cool. She's she's tall. She's broad. She looks like uh, Am she looks Amazonian in a way. Yeah, very, very physically intimidating for a wizard. Love the hair. Yeah, it's a um, lot going on there. And then, like, I guess this is her, like, twenty years later when she's like a mom. She's an elf, so like two hundred years later. Yeah, she's just she's got a very like this is like, this is all of this is worse, and it suffers from the browns. Yeah, like, Heavily. she's already fairly brown as, like, a person. Maybe give her a splash of color beyond, like, some edging green. Maybe make her armor blue. Just give us some color contrast. This is... And with the, the leaves growing out of her staff, that reads a bit more wizard. And the bow, uh, or leave, excuse me, reads a bit more druid than... Um, I honestly would have called this druid. Yeah, yeah. 
But uh, uh, we like Miley around here. Some of her, the rest of her art in any book looks better, especially this one. Really happy with that. Um, this is, uh, no, I'm sorry, Fighter and Wizard both had two arts. Uh, but this mentions he's an illusionist. An illusionist has been a subclass since um, first edition Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, so I think that's why they included an illusionist option in the core book visuals. Um, he looks, I mean, he looks like an artificer. Yeah, he got big gremlin energy with his nail bat. Yeah. Um, but I don't and hate goggles. it. goggles. <clears throat> he does look like an artificer. I don't hate it overall. Um, he's got a nice little scroll case there. That's pretty cool. I like his winkle pickers. That's fun. A, a wizard should have like a fancy art item of clothing. You don't have to wear armor. You might as well look good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I need yeah. notes before we move along. Um, he's making DreamWorks face. He is, sure is. He's gonna fuck in that hair. Uh, this is a uh, wizard from fourth edition, and I almost cropped this, and I felt like we needed to talk about it. Like, there's hair up here. I, I did crop away from the title, but, like, his hair goes up, extends above the title. That is... He's coming out of that book. I think we can both agree. <laughs> well, clearly, because there's nothing down here. He's coming out of the book. Except for the, the very detailed bookmark. Um, Which, I mean, the funny thing is, if you had brought this down, if you had maybe done some bullshit up here that would have gone behind the, the name wizard, the, the nameplate... Or maybe give him a body... You know. Well, or that, sure. But, I mean, you know, it's just legs. If this had been that down is, here... That is a World of Warcraft blood elf being summoned from a book. Yeah. Um, and he's got crazy nails. He uh, does a lot of coke. He does, he's got the coke nails. He, he's he's tagged, though. So if you find him in the wild, you know, you'll be able so to track him. So you can track him, him yeah. yeah. This is bad. Just in case that wasn't clear. His, whole, he's not, his clothes is belts. I think... His clothes are belts. Oh, wow, they sure are. I, I, well, but that's a little bit logical, at least, because he's got to strap these things on however, whatever way that happens. Each of them needs nine? <laughs> uh, two, except for this guy, who only needs one. Um, no, no, there's one, two, three, four, one. There's, a, there's just one extra belt on this side. But on that side. That's a bonus belt. That's the mystery belt. I, I think it's fine art, but the composition is god-awful. Uh, even even though I might not agree with all the close-up shots being terrible, His this is just... His face looks like it's partially rendered in, like, someone did opened it up in paint and reversed the colors. A little bit, because of the glow coming from the book. Yeah, it's a little questionable. I would agree with that. But And, I, I mean, the book is great for giving wizard, but this is not. I don't know that's, what that's, this is. That's, that's Blood Elf Genie. Yeah, I suppose. That's the page master. <laughs> Uh, fifth edition wizard. A is plus. Solid. Yeah, he's yeah, good. fucking great. This dude is gonna teach your uh, youthful protagonist a lesson. I had been wondering for probably ten years by this point where Jolie Bindo went, and then I turned to this page, and he's like, mm, "I'm here now." Yeah. This motherfucker is Trixie. Uh, this dude is like fun and laughs a lot, and also will like defeat your evil empire. Without actually casting that many spells. I like that he's got a dreadlock beard and <laughs> To be big clear, crayons. he can. He just doesn't need to because why waste magic when it's so much easier just to convince you to fuck yourself up. Yeah. I love this dude. Yeah, I this is great. I have wanted to play this guy specifically for a while. He's, I just haven't I have other characters I want. He to reminds play. me of a character you have played, honestly. Yes, so, I know. Uh, uh, all right, so we get into the races now, the bonus content of this episode. We're running a little long, but we'll tick through a little quicker. Uh, this is from the first edition book. Uh, I thought it was interesting. This is Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. This was after they were separated out from classes. Uh, first of all, this is awful. I mean, it's, it's just patently bad. The art is bad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but Half-Orc and Half-Elf are here. Yeah, Half-Elf has been here. I, I, I didn't realize Half-Orc had been playable for that long. Um... Mm. Dwarf, obviously, human, they're all pointing. Something is over there. The elf is turning, or the half-elf is turning to look. She's just given side-eye. Uh, and has a magic wand from a magician show. The half-orc told them that it was there. I believe this is a gnome. Um, this is That's the, exceptionally small. Well, it's a shapeshift spell. It's, it's a big frog. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, this is from second edition. This uh, halfling has depression. I, with, yes, his paws, I would be depressed, too. His little too. hairy halfling paws. 
Uh, that guy's cool and probably drinks cool beer and will sell me that cool beer. That is either an elf or a half elf. Um, with that handsome set of pecs, I gotta say. Uh, more second edition art. This is the first time these dwarves have ever seen a woman. I don't know if she's a dwarf or an exceptionally short elf. They did make them shorter around second edition, I think. Look at those ears. Yeah, very elfy ears, but I don't know. Maybe the dwarves have elfy ears and I, I can't see them. Those are the helmets. Oh, oof. That's a that's just a stein that he put on his head. That's another guy up yeah. there. <laughs> uh, ah, there it is. There it is. There's the third edition racist thing. Um, gnome. It looks so much different from halfling, and yet it's so interesting that it's that gnome is taller than halfling. Yeah, I would put him usually about the same size. Uh, and I, I would, would honestly maybe say gnome is a little shorter in my head. I, I like them trying to differentiate a halfling from a hobbit by making them small, swole, nomadic peoples. Um, I like the hobbits too, but that's you know it's neat. New world building is always fun. Yeah. I like that the half-elf is marveling at his five o'clock shadow. <laughs> I'm an elf. What can grow a beard? Oh, yes. Nice. Uh, and then the female versions. Um... I never understood why they decided to make the female half-orc horny. Because she can get it. You know what? That's fair. There's a better Miley right there. Yeah. That's... A cool, like, silk outfit. Very fun. Um, and uh, so we've got the, the fourth edition book. They really started throwing racial art. Like, every race had an art. The racial art in 4th edition was actually much better than the class art. Yeah. Uh, I don't like how dragonborn heads look here. Everyone's got super tentacles. They made some really weird... Well, that's what they had instead of hair. Right. They made some really weird art decisions in 4th edition. I don't hate it. I just don't... I like that shield. Yeah, good shapes. I like the face shapes a lot. Um, I like the absurdly edgy sword. uh, We got dwarf here. I like these dwarves, but this art is not meant to be zoomed in on, so we're going to zoom back. Um, this was a lot bigger. There's like snow and shit around here, but these are both very inspiring. Yeah, again, the, again, the the race art is much better than the character art. Uh, it really gives the silhouette, gives you the idea, and is understandable. If you didn't want chainmail mittens before, you do now. Uh, yeah, that's true. This is Eladrin. Yeah, that was fancy. That was core book. Yeah. yeah. Um, they just look like high elves. This woman is even judging you. With they look like they look like elves with Photoshop. Yeah, Photoshop elves. Uh, whereas regular elves were wood elves. And I always liked the female wood elf in this illustration. I I always thought she looked very, like, cool, but not too cool for school. Like, she was very... Um, she'd hang out. She'd hang out. But you I, know she's cooler than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, this is human half-elf? I want to say half-elf. Oh, yeah, yeah, look I at that ear. Half-elf, yeah, 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 pointy ear. Uh... That's fine. I, I this is fine. Uh, these are halflings. Um, very action oriented. They're just small people. Yep. Uh, this is definitely human. That's human. Yeah, I remember that guy. Um, <laughs> I like that we didn't feel like finishing this drawing, so we did not. Yeah, eh. Uh, this is fine art. You There's get people. it. Yeah. Is is what they you, said. You know what humans are. Uh, I'm really glad they walked away from this tiefling redesign. Um, Did I, I they? Just, isn't, it, isn't that what they look like? No, they they really peeled back on the the Klingon, on the Klingon yeah. horns. Yeah, um, uh, I love that fucking knife because that knife is useful only for injuring yourself. It's you're never gonna hurt anyone but you with that knife. It's so broad. Uh, this is gnome. Gnomes didn't show up until Player's Handbook two, three. I like that they have the Legolas swords from the Lord of the Rings movies. Yeah, I, I like the big black eyes. That's kind of a cool take. I, yeah, I, look very fake. It makes them visibly different than half than half. Yeah, I think that was cool. Um, these are half orcs again. They didn't show up until Player's Handbook two or three. I can't remember. Very which. Very just people half orcs. Yeah, you can see some little tusk action. It just yeah, I mean like nothing wrong with it. It's just that's the way they went. I also think it's really interesting that like none of the half orcs they show are green. Just fascinating. Blue, purple, brown, gold, sure. Green? No. Uh, this is... This is 5e? Uh, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is 5e Dragonborn. Uh, I, he looks very aquatic, um, but we're a little less severe on the number of tentacles. Also, he has a small man's head. 
Do I keep one of them? Fasten it. Uh, this is the dwarf. I don't think that's great, but... 5e race art is not nearly as good as 4e race art. No. Uh, here's an elf. That's an elf. I, I mean, they put in the homework. They did the assignment. They just didn't go to... I, mm. That's a gnome. That's not bad. Uh, it's a little... The head's a little big. The, there's a little bit of, uh, of, of cerebral issues there, but... Overall, I don't hate the art. Um, that's half elf. That's half elf. He's from a tarot card. Uh, see, again, here's your half orc. Pur- purple. Purple. Pur- yeah. Purple and wielding a bucket on a stick. That could be a fun weapon. Put it over people's heads, steal all their stuff. <laughs> uh, the uh, we're going to talk about this for a bit. This is we're a- going to talk about this fucking monster. Why did you do this? What possessed you to make them awful? Is this AI art? Look at this hand. <laughs> what possessed you to make them terrible? Look, why is that? Why is her head bigger than her chest? And the hair like goes off to the side, sort of, but not in a way that makes sense. And the hands are so she could fit both of her own hands into her mouth. <laughs> it's a fun party trick. <laughs> This is not a good design. Also, the, the foot looks like it was smallered. It, like it was a regular sized foot and then they shrinky dinked it. <laughs> that would snap off under the weight of that head. I, this is terrible. I hate 5th edition halfling art so much. I'm not a huge halfling fan either. This is just the worst. Um, that's a uh, human, I believe. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. Looks great. This would be great for a fighter. I like that she's got a stick. This could be a wizard. This could, this could be, be a wizard, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a wizard with, that could be quilt. Yeah. Very solid. Like padded armor, as it were. Sorcerer, too. I yeah. read sorcerer better than squand guy. Um, Big book, says wizard to me. Tiefling. Yeah, they've got, they've got like sort of the, the weird horns here. They're coming very from the eyebrows. I don't like this art in general. It's the same artist as squand guy, so that makes sense. Uh... But it's not as... But it's not the curling ram's horns. Yeah, you don't have the, this whole dome thing. You don't have... you could. It's it's not conceivable that tieflings, if they had their own culture, would have running up at each other and butting heads as like an actual mating ritual. Yeah. Because they have a skull plate, clearly. I will say I do like this better than Squand Sorcerer. Sorcerer? Uh, this is just some fun art I found. Oops. There's so much going on here. What is this? Why is this monkey here? That's. Are we meant to imply that he's tripping or that the oh, wizard's on casting the a spell? Field. It's just. I and mean, this wizard is cool as hell. <laughs> this wizard is absolutely just razzing yeah. this guy for falling on a banana peel. <laughs> he's adding that. He's added this action thing. This is prestidigitation. He's just showing off how stupid this guy looks. Lol. Wear shoes, moron. Uh, this is the mirror image spell. Um, Great. Illustrated. I love this mustache. Yeah, I, this guy's good. Again, nestled gently like a baby in front of his dick is a naked knife. <laughs> uh, uh, this is Otto's Irresistible Dance. Uh, they have made this Umber Hulk do a jaunty jig. The, you know what? That is a better sell for Otto's Irresistible Dance than anything I've ever seen. This knight spell. is blown away. <laughs> that guy is... The guy in front of him is fully, like, rethinking his life. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, clearly, the, the Umber Hulk broke his arm before this, and he's had it wrapped in a cast. Or a, or he is... He's got a mitten. He's got the chainmail mitten, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is it's so much I love see, here. Uh, the, clearly, the noise that comes out of that front guy is after like two seconds after this is. You may not be able to pick that up on on mic, but it's true. Um, and I love this because it is a woman that I can't draw, Captain Kirk, Spock, and um. Uh, I've forgotten the man's name. Uh, he wasn't popular by this point anyway. Rachel's dad from Friends. Um, Elliot Gould? Yeah, clearly. <laughs> that is, one, that yeah. is one million percent Spock. Yeah, that is Can we 10, talk thousand. About... <laughs> this is just Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> that's, that's Spock. Um, I also love how they've got all this clearly magical loot, and Spock's like, let's play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Spock knows what's up, brother. He's got the dice. He's ready to go. He's got that Warlock's robes from earlier. Yeah, yeah. Uh... 
I just love that they so nakedly just put Kirk and Spock in there. That's great. Like, if you look at the comics, especially, that is just how they draw Kirk. Um, this one I like to call uh, Kissing the Mummies Goodnight. Because <laughs> these guys... You gotta kiss the mummies goodnight. They're just goodnight. sleeping. And he's waiting for his kiss. Yeah. This dude is nodded off head forward. I don't know what we thought, how this shit worked in the 80s, how tombs work. This is not it, and I love it. Uh, oh. uh, Princess Leia, in the second edition artwork, is tending bar. That's fun. Um, it's uh, an older version of uh, True Story meme. Yeah, uh, that guy is looking at Princess Leia. This is like medieval cheers. Yeah. <laughs> There's Ted Danson. Doth verily everyone knows thy name. Yeah, this is just spectacular. Uh, just, again, nakedly, clearly Carrie Fisher. Uh, this is in the bar Stuff! Entry. It's a Fucking bottle of stuff. Yes! <laughs> oh, man, a bottle of stuff. Why have I never given out a bottle of stuff as a DM? I'm a hack! <laughs> uh, and then I grabbed this from 4th edition because I love this piece of art. I think the changelings look so cool in their default form in 4th edition. This is jazzy as hell. This is basically how I describe changelings looking now. Because it's so good. Yeah. Just a, a, a huge fan with of that. They're dramatic. With, they're goth as fuck. They are like deep 80s goth. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Uh, and that's uh, that's the end of it. That's the show. What did you think? Lots of stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Would you... I mean, like, whoop, like that? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. That's stuff. A, stuff? I like that there's a bangle on it. It's got a little stuff charm. A little bat. Yeah. Stuff.